Hi there guys, it's Yako here. UV unwrapping in 3D code. Now this is a feature. It has been great since this version 3 and I've been using it almost solely uh, from the version 3 that whenever I needed to make a game model or something for whether it's real time or, or even cinema, uh, I've been using this program and this is absolutely fantastic. Now 3D code can do also the packing and all these things and it just works really well and it's so fast and, and, and just fluent and it feels kind of UV, UV mapping has become kind of fun experience since I started using 3D code so yeah uh, I'd like to kind of take a look so just let you know I'm coming from background of light waves so I've been using light waves 9 light wave 9's 3D uh, UV unwrapping and and you know this was the time when ABF the angle based flattening wasn't the thing so so I guess you can if you have been ever used Lightwave 9 and tried to do UV mapping you kind of know what I'm talking about that you know back in the day you had to kind of split the object and uh, separate the object, object physically and then do the do the UVs and then merge it back and hope nothing goes wrong and yes um, oh boy that was a that was a time but but now in um, in 3d gold uh, we've got so nice tools and and this program will handle really well so we can just go in here and start to mark some edge loops so what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna kind of split this guy in half first so we can when we hover the mouse here we can actually see that see a preview on the right so we are basically now cutting this guy in half and I'm gonna go over here and maybe mark mark a loop in here and hitting control I'm gonna like uh, erase so if I'm hitting control we can see that the line turns yellow so it means we are erasing a seam so now we are going this way we are splitting this guy in half that's good we can go in here and again mark seam on sharp edge because if you are dealing like if you are gonna be using this for some kind of a baking for example baking normal maps it's really good to put the UV seams on the sharp edges uh, when there is a uh, angle harder like 45 degrees so then you can get edges on the sharp uh, you can get the UV seams on the sharp edges and that's a really nice way to if you are into that kind of, that's a really deep topic so I like to kind of get back to how to make uh, perfect uh, normal map bakes but uh, yes uh, and we can do that and now we are like doing this and now we have want to kind of preview how it looks we can hit unwrap and it's gonna give us a sort of a first preview now already from this distance this could kind of work so look how fast it is we've got basically the guy is UV unwrapped isn't this cool right but yeah we can actually kind of fine-tune because we have a lot of problems here uh, for example uh, basically this area isn't really good so what I'm again gonna go is just gonna try to find hard edge in here like here we have one hard edge and I'm gonna go here and do this and also um, perhaps it would be better not to have the seam on the center so we could actually put this guy on the heart again so we get something like this and go in here and just uh, do it like that so now we've got so when we have a when you create the new UV island it's gonna change the color so it's really handy I'm gonna go here and uh, I'm gonna basically add a couple of seams in here and again I'm gonna go here I'm gonna add a couple of seams in here so now uh, we have a island here so for example here we have this like a ring shape so so for these guys I always used to kind of put the one seam here so it's gonna split the ring into something more basically more flat so this will improve the condition much and again we can probably put the seam in here because you know um, again we want to kind of put them in the hard edges so we have again this long shape so in order to get it packed packed better it's better to have a smaller so there are a lot of these kind of small things about UV maps that that maybe not all of you know so I can kind of uh, kind of show how I do it so again we can do this thing and and then on on this that when you kind of think about it we can think that this is like a, if you think about flattening it flattening it it's, it's better to have this uh, ring in this case because this ring is flat if you look at it from the top you can kind of see that or from the bottom in that case that 
that it's a flat ring so because it's a flat ring it's better to keep it that way in this case because if we put this guy in here it's gonna start to uh, the algorithm is gonna start to try to sort of flatten it and kind of pull these guys out here I'm not sure if you can understand what I mean but yeah this would be one way so yeah so again we got some hard edges in here so let's put seams in here to split it up a little bit Oh uh, yeah, I'm just hitting like that and again you can see the color is changing and we can get the visual confirmation that that we have created a new UV island when the color is changing so again nice way to take a look so I'm gonna sort of preview I'm gonna hit unwrap and I'm gonna preview this so so we are getting like this this kind of shapes here now we have this so sometimes you get that you select some of the uh, islands in here in the UV preview and then when you start to try to kind of uh, add seam you, you can't do anything so in order to, to do this you need to go here and hit control and unselect that so so you have nothing selected so now uh, we can go and add some seams again so I actually created mistakenly one uh, island in here so I'm gonna hit uh, I'm gonna actually hit this uh, edge loop again and now we have split into so i'm gonna unwrap so yeah we are kind of starting to look really nice here uh, i'm kind of digging this uh, so before you kind of uh, go forward here it's good to to check out that we don't have any uv distortion and let's check out how it works i'm gonna just uh, move this guy around here so uh, you have like the simple checker now what we have so so we can kind of see that if we have any irregularity in that pattern it means that uh, then uh, we have stretching or something like that and uh, we can also use the other ones you can have your own which you have you can bring here or you can use these this complex checker is really nice also because you can get the you can get these letters here and it also get, these letters will also tell you that whether we have flipped UVs or not so this guy for example here is flipped so um, we can uh, absolutely do that we can flip these guys around here if we want to if we so want so for example we can see that this is now correct and um, this is incorrect so I'm gonna flip it like this and then we also have this one and it seems to me that this one here uh, is uh, I think it's this one so this one here is flipped so I'm gonna go and uh, flip it so now again we have a correct one um, seems that this this is absolutely flip so I'm gonna flip you and so on and also this one we're gonna flip you in here now we've got these guys in order yeah also this also this guy we should probably flip it, flip it so flip you and now we've got so this way you can get them in right shape uh, and everything should be looking pretty good so before we go forward I also like to show you the UV preview window and how you can use this to manually adjust your UVs so here if we for example scale uh, these guys and we notice that it becomes blue it means that it's too dense and then it's in the relation to the others of course so that when this becomes too dense this become too loose so in the best situation possible this is kind of a middle gray so it's not either red or blue it's more like a, this kind of a color so you can also use the preview window to check that your uh, UV space is nicely done and there's no stretching. So yes, uh, and you can, uh, if you go and select islands, you can select individual islands and move them around. It's a very nice way to, to do, deal with them if I want to rotate this. And you can also select uh, faces, individual faces, if you want to tweak them, like for example, let's say I want to move these uh, select faces and just select one of them. and center uh, square will scale it so you can also scale and, and so on very nice way and also of course vertices if you want to select individual vertices and tweak these so you can really have total manual control in the UV preview so yeah really nice stuff 3D code is a wonderful UV packer tool uh, there is actually dedicated UV packing tools out there and and those are really really super good because they can really use very really advanced calculations even the calculations that will take advantage of your graphics processor in your computer to drive this ultimate um, packed UV layout where there's like as little wasted space as possible 
and you can do that of course but the 3d code is really good you have this pack uv thing so let's take a look so i'm gonna go here and i'm gonna unselect and i'm go, gonna go and try this pack uv one in here there are two versions in here and the pack uv one says that uh, it will pack current set of clusters on the uv plane no unwrapping performed only packing will be done yes and then the pack uv2 will say that pack uv islands without rotation and flipping so if you have like uh, for example you want this wood, wood because this is probably made of wood so you want this wood to be vertical so so you want to keep these guys vertical and you want to kind of put this like like this but then you still want to pack this so uh, you can hit this and it, it will keep this rotation as it is but then try to pack uh, everything so you can kind of hit this couple of times and it will normally get kind of better in it so you can just uh, keep hitting it and see that the version which you like most so yes uh, this is already sort of decent um, maybe hitting okay it looks better and better so yeah for example this could be okay I forgot to actually mention one thing so before we get out of here I'd like to show you UV settings with this you can set the margin around your UV space and sometimes if you do baking or some other special stuff like that you need to have a certain area around your UV space so that nothing really touches the edge and with this you can set it so you can set put the values here manually like 0 0.01 for like a minimum UV minimum U and maximum U and minimum V and maximum V so you can set this guy here and I'm not sure if this is the default or does it just remember my earlier settings but, but you can kind of if you hover the mouse and you you sort of uh, slide this is a sort of slider so if you move this around you can kind of see that that uh, in here the, this margin so something like this might actually work for us so you have to set it and after this after you have set this you can do the packing so let's just go and uh, pack it again to sort of see what comes so now as you see nothing touches the edge and we should be good to go so about the it seems that uh, it seems that the algorithm flipped our UVs so so you know for the sake of packing the flipping UVs is something that you shouldn't be afraid of I mean there's absolutely no problem if you're not gonna put text or anything like that in the model having flipped UVs isn't going to be a really big problem for you so so when I really want to have uh, efficient UVs uh, Flipping, uh, flipping UVs is a necessary evil if you say so but yes and now when we're done it's also important that you go and uh, apply the UV because if you don't do that then you're gonna kind of uh, uh, you're gonna lose your work so I'm gonna apply UV set and we are done so as you can see doing UV unwrapping in 3d code is not a black magic it's a uh, fun it's a nice nice way to to do it and really you have a total control also and also you can really get a nicely packed uh, optimized UV layout in here so yes a big fan of this so really thanks to all of you who subscribed I'm really honored that you hit the subscribe button and and please do feel free to share this to your friends or in your Facebook page that would be really great so I hope you enjoyed and I see you soon this was Yakko and bye bye